everybody, this is not a spring chick, and well, the president is there, let's just say, with one fell swoop of an ink, he's giving all these managers across the country, small businesses, a wage increase. How does that happen? Well, for now, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. Mm -hmm. And it's all over for the Republicans. Oh, yeah, they said that this was a great victory for Obamacare. You know, even, even though they lost, it showed that Obamacare was a winning argument for the Democrats and that the Republicans are now going to have to join in with the Democrats to fix the problems that they're all running away from. Well, so what happened was this morning the Republicans have said that some of them have already started putting up things that will basically, uh, oh, here's the thing is, the pre remember that the thing that the president shut the country down for? because he didn't want to change it. They said, uh, under the table, he, re he gave another executive order, just like he did today, raising people's salaries we had no right to do. If you claim a hardship, you no longer have to ha do the individual mandate. What? It's now gone, the individual mandate, and there's no timetable set on it. They said, one of the people said this morning on the left said, it looks like the president realizes it's not working and he's allowing the insurance companies to stay in business now selling the policies that he used to call inferior. And he said, you know what the hardship is? I, I don't get to keep my doctor. I, my medic, the plan that you put me on is too expensive and it doesn't handle the problems that I had. You see, they, it said they can't remove it for pre-existing condition, but it doesn't say anything about having to treat the condition you have. And it's just minor little details they didn't put into the law that there's nothing for treatment, such as the fact is there's now no home treatment allowed under Obamacare for senior citizens. Oh, there isn't? No, that's been removed. Oh, no, that's bad because, well, there's a lot of them that could use yeah, it. But they and got they'd rather stay in their homes. I know, but he wants to take them out of the homes and put them into managed facilities, of which there are not enough managed facilities, of which will not handle anybody under them. They said they cannot find the managed facility other than a state facility that will handle anyone under Obamacare. So. And... Uh, the House backs bill to sue the president over laws. Oh, yeah. The, the, because uh, what happens is he has no constitutional right to do anything, such as this morning. The market, well, when I left, the market was 375 points down after it was up. They, most of it fell after he granted wage increases to non salary employees, which he can't do. He has no authority to raise the rate. I mean, he, in some cases, I doubled the salary they were getting, mm. and that they said they can't afford it. One of the people said that the, what they, well, actually one of the head small business heads said they're going to reduce the hours of the employees, the management they currently have, and therefore there won't be no overtime, but at the same time, they're going to take like, um, the guy was doing 60 hours a week, so they're going to put two people in at 30, which means the guy basically cannot afford to pay his bills anymore because of what the president did this morning. But they said that it won't hold up in the courts, which they all know also. Nothing that he's done so far has held up in the courts. And the president goes around Congress to raise, raise wages, which would result in lots of, lots of millions of jobs before the election. Yeah, they said that uh, four to seven million people will lose their jobs. And they said, well, they're not actually going to lose their jobs. They're going to go find better jobs, is what he said. they said this morning. <laughs> oh, and here's one last night which people, I'm getting no response on my side of, of Facebook because my side basically worships the ground the president walks on. Last night, he admitted Obamacare is going to raise costs beyond what people can afford it. You know what he said? He said, you cannot afford not to have the affordable care because if you happen to have anything wrong, you need it to be, you need to be covered. So he said, here's the solution that we've came up with. Cancel your cell phone and your and cancel your cell phone and your cable services, and you'll easily be able to protect yourself and your family. And then I heard one of the guys ask a simple question, uh, Mr. President, isn't according to your law, which basically you've obviously never read, you basically don't you can take the insurance anytime you so choose. So if you have a catastrophic accident, you have to be covered for that accident no matter what. He said, Well, we prefer that people. Uh, do things to, to help the country and you help the country and your fellow man by joining the system and they said that, that that's definitely out the United States. Yeah. And this was on what this was on the White House's own 
TV show that the people were giving him a bad time because the Democrats are running from that program. Mm -hmm. An Ohio gay couple sues after being deemed denied Obamacare coverage. Well, that's, a, that's basically that it doesn't cover gay people, folks. I thought Obamacare was supposed to cover everybody. Uh -uh. It doesn't cover what? gay marriages whatsoever. Why not? It only because it does not cover uh, a gay marriage. Oh. It only uh, only covers marriages under the traditional sense, and gay marriage is not included in the system. Neither are gay people with gay diseases. They don't seem to oh, be in there no, either. Oh no, which means they totally lost their health care. Yeah, they lost their health care because what, of Obama. So what they did is all these people whose health care would be potentially expensive, they got canceled out in the in the. Uh, red tape. I was listening to the, the news details. this morning and Catherine said, Bill, is, well, I'm sorry, I don't have that information. I'm sorry, I don't have that information. And then the guy basically, you know, that's strange. I've contacted the Insurance Institute of America and I have the information that you seem not to have. And he said, lady, he said, you, I'm going to give you a chance again. You're under oath. Will you tell us you do not have the information? He said, well, I do not have that information. He said, what if I told you I knew you were given the information before you came out here? He said, well, I, I do not have that information. He said, uh, you do realize that you are going to go to jail for what you're saying. I do not have that information. He said, in other words, you're pleading the Fifth Amendment. I do not have that information. Oh, my God. Yeah, Sebelius is going to go to jail also. Wow. Oh. But he did say, he, he asked a very simple question. He said, uh, when you went to the toilet, do you remember whether or not you flushed the toilet or not? He said that was an insult, but I hope you understand that. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Bill Clinton campaigns for Chelsea's mother-in-law. Yeah, what? she she lost her seat in 210 under the. Okay, he he's basically she's a strong supporter of Obamacare, and she's another one of those that said that if you liked your health care, you could keep it. Now she's having to run against Obamacare, and they can't. They're just, they, Bill Clinton. They came, were just repeating what Obama. Said. I know, but when Bill Clinton came out and did his televised thing, right after his televised thing, they they uh, did from the 210 campaign when she lost that this is the greatest thing the people of this nation ever had. It's going to cut insurance rates, and you don't even have to take the program if you don't want to because you just stay with your own insurance policy, even though it will be inferior. Well, it didn't cut fees. The president is now admitting it himself, and. Uh, Every single person is, that basically said, if you like your thing, you can keep it, is in danger of losing their jobs, all of them. Mm -hmm. they, one person said this morning, he's looking right now after the president's, the president's approval rating fell. He's now worse off than George Bush was at the end of his term. He, and his approval rating tanked, and, the, and people supporting Obamacare are now less than 30%. That's the very left-wing Democrats only. And Netflix streaming quality has nosedived over the past few months. Yeah, because they're, um, okay, what happens is, is that all of the carriers are throttling back all these people. I said, uh, here's the thing is, we're on a server, I can guarantee you, after I read the fine print, limits us to two gigabytes of uh, data a month. And that basically isn't enough to do Netflix or any of these streaming services. I know. So, oh, well, they want you to pay more. Yeah, they want you to pay more, basically. and Netflix can't afford that to happen. And so. Las Vegas casinos begin accepting Bitcoin. Can you believe that? No, Bitcoin doesn't exist. It's a piece of paper. You know these coins they keep showing you? These are just coins that they have manufactured. What? Bitcoin, Bitcoin is a promise, a promise to pay. What happens is that the people on one side put the money into the system, and then the, the people running the system promised to pay, but we've already had one company went down. The largest, the largest uh, company in the Bitcoin network folded. So because they didn't have, uh, you know, they were missing like 500 million, I think. And U.S. released five million barrels from strategic oil reserves. Nobody understands what the president is doing. I mean, it makes no sense. He's selling off oil probably to pay bills, would be my guess. And a bubble is locked by the animal kingdom. Um, everyone gets tired.